between Wilfred Benitez and Mustafa Hamshaw. Hello again, everyone. I'm Al Michaels. This is a non-title fight, but it's a 12-round fight because the WBC has sanctioned this as an official elimination fight. The winner of this fight is in line to meet marvelous Marvin Hagler for the middleweight championship of the world. Now, Hagler holds both the WBA and WBC crowns. And if you follow boxing, you know that Marvin has had his problems with the WBC. He does not want to fight 12-round championship fights, which is the new ruling by the WBC. He wants to go 15, as is the case with the WBA. And, of course, as you know, he has signed to fight Roberto Duran in this same ring in November. So, conceivably, the WBC could see fit to strip Hagler of his title. If that is the case, then conceivably, this could be for, retrospectively, the middleweight championship, at least as far as the WBC is concerned. In any event, it figures to be a very good fight, two contrasting styles. Benitez, masterful on defense against the very aggressive Mustafa Hampshire. Right now, let's take a look at the boxing history of Wilfred Benitez. In 1973, Wilfred entered the North American Boxing Championships in Milwaukee, telling officials that he was 17 years old. In fact, he was only 14, but even at that tender age, he had incredible skills, which won him the featherweight title. Three years later, when he really was 17, Benitez met the legendary veteran Antonio Cervantes for the WBA Junior Welterweight Championship. And Wilfred dominated his highly favored opponent to become the youngest champion in boxing history. He won his second title from Carlos Palomino in the searing heat of San Juan, Puerto Rico, as Benitez gave his hometown fans a dazzling exhibition of counterpunching and defense to win the WBC Welterweight Championship. It was that WBC crown that was on the line in Las Vegas when Benitez met Sugar Ray Leonard in a battle of unbeatens. And here in the 15th and final round, it was Sugar Ray who knocked Benitez down. Moments later, the ref stopped it as Wilfred suffered his first loss. After Leonard, Benitez moved up to fight as a super welterweight, and in May of 1981, he scored a devastating knockout over then-champion Morris Hope to become only the fifth boxer in history to win titles in three divisions. Then late last year, Benitez defended his WBC super welterweight crown against Thomas Hearns, and it was Hearns taking Benitez's title with his combined skills as a boxer and puncher. In his only fight since losing to Hearns, Benitez moved up in weight once again to the middleweight division, beating a determined club fighter named Tony Serta in a tune-up for today's fight with Hamshow. Mustafa Hamshaw is a 29-year-old Southpaw who was born and raised in Syria, makes his home now in Bayonne, New Jersey, has lost only twice in 40 professional fights. Let's have a look at Hamshaw's boxing history. The first big victory in Hamshaw's career was against former middleweight champion Alan Minter here in Las Vegas as Mustafa used a strategy of non-stop aggression to score a very convincing 10-round decision and earn a shot at the world champion. But against marvelous Marvin Hagler, Hampshire was never in the fight as the champion gave him a non-stop beating. Only his tremendous heart allowed Mustafa to stay on his feet until the ref rescued him from further punishment in the 11th round. A lot of people may have considered Hampshire through as a contender at that point, but against unbeaten Bobby Chez, he proved them wrong as he scored an impressive win that put him right back into the middleweight title picture. But since the Chez fight last November, Hamshow has been inactive, except for this win last month against journeyman Gil Rosario. And there's some question about how sharp he'll be today against a fighter of Benitez's talent. All right, so it's coming up very shortly. We're looking forward to it. Should be a good fight. Mustafa Hamshow against Wilfred Benitez live from Las Vegas. So stay with us in just a moment. One rank on the WBC in the middleweight division. He has lost only twice. And, of course, he lost to Marvin Hagler for the middleweight title in October of 1981. His other loss was in his very first professional fight back in 75. And there, the three-time champion, Wilfred Benitez, three different titles he has held, WBA Junior Welterweight Champion, Champ, WBC World Welterweight Champ, WBC Super Welterweight Champ. And he has lost only twice to Sugar Ray Leonard and to Thomas Hearns. The Hearns loss costing him the WBC Super Welterweight title. Now, Hamshow is 29. Benitez, though he's been around a long time, just 24. The two weighed in at 6 o'clock this morning. Hamshow, one pound heavier. The height, very little difference there. The reach, no difference there. So here we go. 
the winner in line for the WBC middleweight championship. Marvin Hagler currently the holder of both the WBA and WBC crowns. Pancho is a very aggressive fighter. He's in the green trunks. He's left-handed. He was born in Latikia, Syria, and now makes his home in Bayonne, New Jersey, which is a rather step odd quinella. Benitez was born in New York City and then went back to Puerto Rico when he was seven years old. Benitez, one of the on most up, effective on, counter punchers around today in any weight division. Great defensive skills, great hand and foot speed, and a man who quite often spends a lot of time along the ropes, but counter punches very effectively from that position. Hampshire, as we say, is aggressive. Some would say Hampshire has no style. He can be a bull, he can be very wild, he is prone to fouling from time to time. Each man with just two losses and extensive careers. The referee is Davey Pearl. He does not figure in the scoring. The three judges at ringside will score. Ten point must system is in effect. Lou Tabbitt. Chuck Minker and Dolby Shirley, all from Las Vegas, are the judges. The three knockdown rule is not in effect. The mandatory eight count is, and also the standing eight count will be in effect, if so decreed by Davy Pearl. There's no saving by the bell except in the 12th round. First round action. The temperature in Las Vegas today, about 100 degrees, but frankly, they're fighting under a canvas here in the first round. And it's more comfortable than you might imagine. There's a nice breeze blowing through, and the humidity is quite low, so it's not like 100 degrees in San Juan. So far, Hampshire is dictating the action here in the first round. And Benitez showing a little less movement here in the first round than he normally does as Hampshire puts the pressure on. Again, that's a familiar position for Benitez to be up against those ropes. He's normally able to pick off everything, and you can see that shoulder by Hamso. He mentioned he's prone to fouling from time to time, though there's no warning there issued by Davy Pearl. Under a half minute to go in the first round, scheduled for 12. Hamso looking very, very sharp here in the first round. Benitez is favored anywhere from two to one to five to two here in Vegas. Good round for Hampshire. Hampshire and Benitez as the first round comes to an end. We're back live in Las Vegas. Al Michaels at ringside at the outdoor stadium at the Dunes Hotel. Mustafa Hampshire, the left-hander in green. Wilfred Benitez in the white trunks. Hampshire has dedicated this fight to his late trainer and manager, Patty Flood, who died suddenly, relatively young man in late March. And he has dedicated this fight to Flood's memory. He came out very sharp in the first round. He worked on Benitez's body. Those who have fought Benitez will tell you it's very difficult to hit him in the head. Great movement. So Hamsho came out, worked on the body. He was the aggressor in the first round. And we had him, we had him winning it clearly. 12-rounder. WBC elimination bout. Benitez looking relatively listless, though it's extremely early in the fight, just a minute into the second round. Benitez, a world champion at the age of 17, now 24, Hampshire is 29. In the history piece, we detailed that Hampshire lost to Hagler. People thought, well, that would do it as far as any more championship contention was concerned, but that victory over Bobby Chez last November put him back in the limelight. He's had one tune up since, and he's in line for a shot at the time if he wins here today. But of course, Hagler will be taking on Duran. Again, the pressure being put on here by Hampshire. So far, it has not been Benitez's kind of fight. An inside brawl, fully dictated by Hampshire. We'd like to alert our local stations along the line. At the end of this round, we'll be taking a station break. 
Good right by Benitez, his most effective blow of the out thus far. In the final minute now of the second round. Hamso trying to stay inside on him. staying on top of him. Benitez having a tough time keeping him away. Hamso has been in pursuit. He's been the aggressor through the first two. And apparently has no respect for Benitez's punch. At least at this point. One thing about Hamcho, he is prone to cuts. He was really cut up in that Hagler fight, took 52 stitches in fact. Second round coming to an end. We'll return after this commercial message and a word from our local station. Start of the third round in Las Vegas. Mustafa Hamsho in the green trunks. Wilfred Benitez in the white trunks. Hamsho, the southpaw, has been aggressive. He's tried to stay inside. Certainly controlled the first round. And probably the second as well. Again, the three judges will be doing the scoring on the 10 point loss system. Referee Davey Pearl has no voice in the decision. So Benitez, the three-time world champion and the favorite here in Las Vegas, anywhere from two to one to five to two, getting off to a rather staggering start today. Now Benitez tries to fight his way back, and down he goes, but that's a slip and a warning being issued to Mustafa Hamshow by Davy Pearl. Good left, and another good left by Mustafa Hamsho. Benitez in a little bit of trouble here in the third round, maybe more than a little bit, and again, it's Benitez trying to hold on that time, and down he goes. That's a slip, he was thrown down for the second time. So Hamsho, relentless now in his pursuit. Benitez is hurt. Benitez trying to hold on. Look at Benitez. Show with a chance to end it here in the third round. Benitez obviously pushed down there, took a blow while he was on his knees. That is not scored as a knockdown. Pearl has his hands full. Benitez hits a solid left. He's in major trouble right now. A right, another left. Benitez doesn't know where he is at this point. Hamshow trying to move in for the kill here in the third round. knockdown being scored. Hamsho has him in the corner, another right, Benitez in major trouble. Hamsho working on him in the corner. Benitez can't get out of the corner with 20 seconds to go in the third round. Again, you can't be saved by the bell except for the 12th and final round. A good staggering right jab. Benitez taking a terrible beating here in the third round. the three minute mark and that round was fully two or three seconds over the three minute limit. Do not put now, them down here. Benitez down on the deck four times in that round. No official knockdowns but looking at Wilfred in major trouble as we take a look here. Hamsho the aggressor throughout spent all three minutes basically pummeling him landing several rights and left or left of the body there. Another right to the head. So Benitez 
who definitely lost the first, in our estimation, lost the second. Definitely a two-point round here in the third, you would think. Not definitely, let me qualify that. Certainly a, a ham show round, perhaps two points. Again, no official knockdowns. And now we go for the fourth round. And Benitez, just in looking at his eyes, Wilfred has been staggered. He's been hurt. And it is Hampshire here in the fourth round in total control of this bout. Hampshire, the decided underdog. The one thing about Benitez, though, he has very good recuperative powers if you go back through his career in one fight against Bruce Curry in 1977 he was knocked down three times in the fight and he won the decision a very controversial decision but he won it nonetheless he was also knocked down in the third round in the Lullaway championship fight against Sugar Ray Leonard in November of 1979 Leonard eventually won that on the 15th round Benitez trying to fight his way out of the corner, and again, Hancho continually and consistently putting the pressure on. Very little leg movement from Benitez, far less than he's been prone to exhibit in the past. And he's been trying to brawl with a brawler, and very infrequently can he get away with that. Decent body shot that time by Benitez. Benitez is stationary in that corner. As we say, an effective counter punch. That was a decent right, but Hampshire comes back with a left hand. Hampshire staying inside. Benitez has never really been known as a puncher, and perhaps he doesn't have enough to keep a full middleweight off. And remember, Benitez moving up in weight. This is only his second fight as a middleweight. Under a minute to go in the fourth round. Benitez making a home in that corner. He's been there the whole round. seconds remaining. Hampshire throwing a lot of punches in the first three rounds. Not throwing as many here in the fourth round. And again, Benita spending the entire fourth round in that corner as Hampshire continues to follow him the fourth round. Comes to an Live in Las Vegas now, the fifth round, a scheduled 12-rounder, middleweight bout between Mustafa Hamshow, the left-hander in green, and Wilfred Benitez in white. It's been totally Hamshow's fight to this point, but Benitez comes out more aggressively here in round five than at any other point, and he's moving also. Remember, in the fourth round, totally stationary. Spent the whole round in his own corner. Now he gets back into his corner. Davy Pearl, the referee. We're live in Las Vegas, outdoors, but the ring is covered by a canopy, and it's nice and breezy, so the temperature's 100 degrees, but the humidity is low, and frankly, it's a lot more comfortable than even working indoors in San Juan, Puerto Rico, where Wilford has had many fights. Reminder, tomorrow morning, coverage of the British Open resumes here on ABC, fourth and final round. Tom Watson leading after three over Craig Stambler by one. Ray Floyd among those, two back. So Benitez came out moving here in the fifth round, but the movement appears to be gone again. Ham show, a left uppercut, but Benitez was backing up. Hold it up, get up. Ham show with a slight cut above the left eyebrow, had it worked on between rounds. Prone to cuts, as we said before. 
Even though he put up a very keen battle against Marvin Hagler, he looked like he'd been in a war. What's interesting about Hagler is that a lot of people think that was one of Hagler's stiffest tests. And it really wasn't a test, at least as a champion. It's a testimony to Marvin that he has dominated this division when you can say that the, the fight in which he wanted convincingly in an 11th round knockout was one of his tougher tests. Benitez attempting to try to out in fight him in a way and uh, he's battling with a little more effectiveness here in the fifth round but you would think that Hamshill has built up a pretty good early lead at this point. seconds remaining in round five. Sixth round, we're live in Las Vegas. Mustafa Ham Show in green. Wilfred Benitez, who's held three different world titles in white. 12 rounder, WBC middleweight eliminator, a good left hand by Hamshow. The winner in line for a shot at the middleweight title, currently held by Marvin Hagler. Hamshow, you can see him roughing him up with that shoulder, trying to pin him against the ropes. No knockdowns in the fight, though Benitez went to the canvas four different times in the third round. This is the first time right there that Hamshow has been up against the ropes. Both fighters uh, with that fast early pace and it being a hot day in Vegas, showing some signs of wilting a bit here in the sixth round. Benitez was able to pick off at least part of it. It's been one of Benitez's great strengths, the ability to pick off punches, to keep that head bobbing and weaving and avoid punches and counter punch effectively. It's been one of his strengths in past fights. He has been able here to weather the storm in the third round. When it it was quite apparent he was having trouble with his balance. He appeared to be ready to go in the third round, but has shown the staying power. Though you would think that Hamshow is building up a rather substantial and sizable lead as the underdog in this fight. Especially if you give points for aggression, he has certainly been the aggressor. Sometimes a fight that is fought at close quarters inside becomes more difficult to score. But in our book anyway, it's been uh, thoroughly handled at this point. But he does right where he has spent a good part of his fight in the corner. Sixth round about to climax. Seventh round action. Al Michaels reporting from Las Vegas, the outdoor stadium at the Dunes Hotel. Mustafa Hamshow and Wilfred Benitez. Seventh round of a scheduled 12 rounder. First half of the fight, all Hamshow. I want to tell you that next week on Wide World, a week from today, WBA Bantamweight champion, the unbeaten Jeff Chandler, 
of Philadelphia will be taking on Oscar Muniz in a non-title fight from Atlantic City. That's on Wide World. You'll get to see Chandler next Saturday. This fight has slackened as far as the tempo is concerned. Ham Show started out extremely aggressively. Control the first round. Control the second. And Benitez there with a decent right hand. That may have been the uh, best hand speed we've seen exhibited by Benitez to this point. Benitez has to start becoming a little bit more aggressive because he has to know he's behind at this point. And yet he continues to stay in that corner. He has spent fully 60 to 70 percent of this fight in that spot halfway through round seven. Good luck by Hanso, which backed them up. Once more, I'm going to take one. All it. I'd like to alert our local stations at the end of this round. We'll take a station break. Watch your heads now. You can hear Davy Pearl saying, watch your heads now. Hamcho with a slight cut over his left eye, which we referred to before. It was worked on by Al Silvani, and it has, it has not reopened. Thus far, it has not been Benitez's fight. It's very difficult for him to win a fight like this. The way Hamcho has been pursuing him, smothering him, really. Decent lead right by Benitez, but Hamcho just pushes him back into the ropes. Hamcho with just two losses in his career. And we'll be back with more of ABC's Wide World of Sports after this from our local stations. Live in Las Vegas, eighth round, Mustafa Ham Show in green, Wilfred Benitez in white. Ham Show, the underdog, Benitez favored anywhere from two to one to five to two, but it's been Ham Show's fight. Mustafa has had Benitez up against the ropes. Benitez has been content, if that's the word, to fight out of that corner. Just about the entire fight. There have been no knockdowns, though again, it was Benitez who was either slipped or was either pushed down or slipped down four times back in the third round. Again, tomorrow coming up, fourth and final round coverage of the British Open. The American Sportsman tomorrow on ABC, and then tomorrow night, 8 o'clock Eastern Time, the USFL Championship game, Michigan against Philadelphia from Denver at 8 Eastern. Right by Hamcho. Small chant. You can hear Hamcho, Hamcho, and it's been his fight. Benitez in quest of a possible fourth world title. Again, he's won world titles in three different divisions. Moving up into the middleweight ranks. This is his second fight as a middleweight. Came in at 157 and three quarters. The ham shows 158 and three quarters. Speaking of weight, how about that scene last night in Washington, D.C. with Eddie Mustafa Mohammed coming in two and a half pounds over in the fight with Spinks canceled. No wrestling now. Come on, get up. Still working inside. The action has slackened here in the middle rounds. Good right there by Hamshow. Again, it's Hamshow continuing to, to pressure, to bore in, to work him into the corner. And Davy Pearl goes down. Hamshow picks.
picks him up. Pearl <laughs> got caught by Hancho backing up, and the two intertwined legs and down with Davey. In Las Vegas, scheduled for 12. I was on the road with three. Ninth round in the scheduled 12 rounder, Mustafa Hamshow and Wilfred Benitez. Outside of that one round where Benitez went to the canvas four times without an official knockdown. If you've seen one round of this fight, you've seen just about all of them, and this one is beginning the same way. Benitez finding a home in that corner. Hampshire working inside. Fully the aggressor. In our book, building up a good-sized early lead, and now Hampshire saying, come on, come on, come out of there. Benitez, you wonder at what point you begin to have diminishing results when you keep moving up in weight. Remember, he started out as a junior welterweight, then a welterweight, then a junior middleweight. Now he's attempting to get to the point where he can fight for the middleweight championship and win a fourth title. But you wonder, do you reach that point where when you go against bigger people, naturally bigger people, that your skills do not begin to diminish in comparison? Perhaps that's the case with Benitez as it apparently was the case with Alexis Arguello in the estimation of many against Aaron Pryor as he tried to move up back to for his fourth title. <laughs> Halfway through the ninth round. Oh, another good left by Mustafa Hamshow. Good jab coming in by Hamshow. Benitez has really not altered his style at all in this fight. Spent the whole fight, as we say, not only against the ropes, but in that same corner. He backs into it voluntarily, as you can see. He's trying to counter punch, and that, of course, is his basic strength, but Hampshire has relentlessly not giving him any room and very few opportunities. Now he's trying to counter, but still look at that pressure that Hampshire continues to put on in the corner as Davy Pearl separates them. So the ninth round will end where it begins, in the corner. Hampshire and Benitez. Tenth round now. <laughs> you can tell that uh, things haven't changed. There is Benitez still in his corner. There's Hampshire still relentlessly putting the pressure on. We have Hampshire substantially ahead. You can make a case now for Benitez needing a knockout. And you wonder if Benitez has a knockout punch. Now he knocked Morris Hope out in May of 1981 with that one tremendous bolt in the 12th round. But before that, his prior knockout would be August 1st, 1980 against Tony Chivarini. So he's had only one knockout, one KO in three years. And there's nothing to indicate that he's about to knock Hampshire out of this one. Nothing at all to indicate that. Tenth round. Oh, 
again working that body as ham show. This is a 20 foot ring here in Las Vegas and all they've needed is about six feet of it. Whole fight right where it is right now in that one corner. Get a reminder, USFL climaxing its first season tomorrow night. Championship game from Mile High Stadium in Denver. Eight Eastern time. Philadelphia, best record in the league. And Michigan, hottest team in the league. Coming down the stretch. British Open, fourth round tomorrow morning. Good right hand by Hampshire. Tam Show has dictated the pace and the strategy and the style. Tournament <laughs> imploring Tam Show to go underneath, keep working on that body here in the 10th round, the waiting seconds of the 10th. Scheduled for 12, Hampshire and Benitez, WBC middleweight elimination bout live from Las Vegas. The 11th and next to last round here in Las Vegas, Wilfred Benitez coming out to the middle of the ring here in the 11th round, but then backing right back up toward that corner against Mustafa Hamcho. Again, Hamcho, as we mentioned earlier, dedicating this fight to the memory of his late trainer and manager, Patty Flood, who died suddenly in late March of this year. He came out as the aggressor in the first round. Mouthpiece coming loose. Benitez fighting out of the corner left-handed for whatever that's worth at this point. Body shot and an apparent low blow, but no indication of such from Davy Pearl. Another good right. That right jab that Hamshaw has been employing. Benitez landing an occasional blow, an occasional flurry, an occasional combination starting to come out, but the whole tempo and pace of this fight and the body language, as it were, of this fight, all ham show. It has to be that way when one man has the other guy in the corner for the entire day. Benitez, as we mentioned early on in the fight, he's no stranger to the ropes. It's not as if he's not fighting what he normally does. He's not fighting that same type of fight that you might see him fight. He's been effective, especially against Duran, when you think about it. Palomino fighting off the ropes, but he has not been able to do that against Ham Show today. So he is where he's most comfortable, perhaps, but he's really done very little out of that position. Ham Show again putting a lot of pressure on in the corner. Under a minute to go in the 11th round. That right got through. Think back if you've seen a lot of boxing. When's the last time you saw one fight fought in almost the same spot all the way through? Decent left there by Hamshow. But that's been it, that one corner for just about the entire fight. The end of the 11th round, that hand. in Las Vegas, Al Michaels at ringside, Mustafa Hamshow in green, Wilfred Benitez moving up to the middleweight ranks in the gray trunks. The whole fight fought in that one corner. 
No knockdowns in the fight. Ham Show has controlled it. On our card, we have Ham Show well ahead. Benitez would need a knockout in our estimation. The whole fight has been not only fought in the corner, but basically the same style employed by both men throughout. Now Benita is showing more movement, perhaps sensing he needs to do something different. But Hamcho getting him back into that corner again. Both men obviously tiring and wilting on this hot Vegas day. So the ring, as we mentioned, covered by the canopy and a nice breeze blowing through. <laughs> Halfway through the 12th and final round. fight ending where it started where the whole thing has taken place in Benitez's corner Hamshow boring in pressuring Benitez obviously exhausted at this point 50 seconds to go now in the fight so Hamshow attempting to put himself in line for a shot at the middleweight championship WBC sanctioning this as an eliminator. That's a decent left hand by Hampshire again. Hagler, of course, as you know, is signed to fight Duran in his very same ring in November. But the number one middleweight contender is Hampshire, and he's done nothing to dispel that ranking today. So this one will go the distance. 12 rounds. And perhaps a big upset with Hamcho, a decided underdog. And Masafa raising his arms. We'll be getting the decision in just a moment as we'll return live to Las Vegas for it. But right now, let's get a report on the British Open and our colleague, Jim McKay. All right, we're back live in Las Vegas. Mustafa Hamshow, no doubt in his mind that he's won this fight, was the aggressor throughout. And Chuck Hull, the ring announcer, has the decision. Here it is. Little doubt about that. Mustafa Hamshow not only winning it, winning it big, winning it unanimously. He had Benitez in trouble early. He controlled the fight throughout. He was never in any trouble. He dedicated this fight to his late trainer and manager, Patty Flood. The two embracing in the middle of the ring, and it's the first time they've been there in this fight because the whole fight was fought in Benitez's corner. So there he is, Mustafa Hamshow. The winner by unanimous decision as we get Mustafa to sit on the apron here, and we congratulate you. It seemed that you controlled the entire fight just the way you wanted to. Is, this fight not my fight, it's my manager, right the floor. they wanted to be here. This is for Fatty Flood. It's dedicated to him. He was a beautiful man of boxing. We lost a good friend. Well, we mentioned that during the fight, and obviously uh, a very impressive, a very decisive victory for you over Benitez. Did you think that the fight would be that easy the way it turned out? Uh, I know it's going to be. I know it's going to be them because I'm strong from him, and I know my manager. Fatty Flood is around me. 
and uh, he wanted to win, and I went for him. Well, we congratulate you. A very emotional victory for Mustafa Hamshow. I want to say hello to my daughter, Susie, and I love you, Daddy. Great. Mustafa Hamshow, the winner, a unanimous decision over Wilfred Benitez in Las Vegas. Travel arrangements made through. Promotional fee paid by United Airlines. United flies to Hong Kong for more top business centers with three-class Royal Pacific service.